Hello Minecrafters, Sonicek here, another creative blog. I'm standing at the new server. They have a lot of worlds and this is the owner, Puppy. They even have a plot world, creative plot world, in which I can show you what I built so far. Well, not that much, kind of a start of a mansion. And they even rated it. And I might do a review about the other builds, which are quite cool. But in this creative blog, I'll show you what I usually do on servers. I'll paste one of my builds. And it's an honor for me that they requested one of them. And it will be the Hanging Gardens. So let's warp ourselves to factions. All right, so this is our old spawn. And now I'll be pasting the Hanging Garden spawn for now, and maybe I'll paste some other builds. We'll see. All right, so now I need to pick a nice spot. Pretty big hole. I think this will this spot will do. All right, so the schematic is uploaded in the server files, and now I'll paste it. And the reference point when I copied the spawn is in the middle of the spawn, and the spawn is a little higher than the ground, so this should be the right level. We'll see about that. All right, so now we'll have a little lag. It's pasted. This will take a this will take a while. There we go. So it looks pretty good. Here it's flo floating above the ground and. I guess it's gonna be a little lower on the other sides. Oh yeah, I'll need to edit the terrain around. So I'll do that really quickly. And another thing I wanted to do in this video is that I'll little update the spawn. So it will match to be used as a, actually a faction spawn. So there will be the drop-offs all in a square base. And so, so now I guess I'll speed the video up and see you in a minute.
All right. The area around is now looks a lot more natural. All the terrain is smoothed out. And now, as I said, I'll update the spawn to match the needs of a faction spawn. And that is that the players will drop off. They will have a square base. Except the balconies, they will still stick stick out of the spawn. But there will be a clear border in which players will drop off the spawn and they will be in the battle zone. So, let's get to it. Alright, the little update's finished. Now let's take a look. Uh, it's really a small update. Now the water is not streaming over the edge, but players can jump out right here and also at the corner. So it's easier, I would say a lot more easier to make the borders of the safe zone and the battle zone. Then I added these decorations from outside and that's pretty the update so I hope this spawn will be now even more useful for you First, second position and now I will copy the spawn from the west side that means when you'll be pasting the spawn, you look east, and then you will paste... Oh, what are these barrier fields? Alright, so I'll just replace barriers with air. There we go. And uh, you probably don't want this chicken to have it in your spawn. All right, now I'm doing quite a mess. All right, so when you'll face the spawn, you wanna face east, and the spawn will be pasted right in front of you at the east side. So I'm also, the spawn will be at the height level of the ground. So if you're standing on the ground, that will be the height of the spawn. So I'm going to copy it from here. Save the schematic as hanging gardens spawn one hundred. 
hundred percent. That's that. And it's saved. Reference point is right here. And the spawn will be pasted in front of you. So that was my answer to the request to update the spawn because it wasn't really suiting the factions used for the faction server. And yeah, I hope you guys make a good use of it. So, Sanchez, meet you at the next creative blog.